Yo, 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 people, and welcome back to the hardware review. This time we're looking at the iStick Mix from eLeaf. It's a 160 watt box mod and it comes with the ELO Pop tank. Now, the theme behind these mods are all to do with dragons and pixies, but we'll talk a little bit more about that in the pros and cons. Right, we'll do like we normally do. We'll show you around the box itself. We'll show you the ELO Pop tank. We'll show you the mod and everything it does, and then we'll do the pros and cons and the bits that we've missed. Right, on the front of the box, it does tell you that it is the iStick Mix. You have got a picture of your mod. It tells you that it is e-leaf. And then you've got that wonderful statement about nicotine, which we'll leave right there. On the side, you have got their social media sites. On the other side, you have got your scratch and sniff. Also, it tells you it is the UK Vapor Brands. Big shout out to them for sending it out for review. And they are the official distributors for um, e-leaf. I actually said that. I can't believe it. On the back, you have got the, the README stuff, then you've got the hologram, and then you've got the contents of the box itself. You've got that wonderful statement again. Then you've also got the kite marks and don't vape in a bin, and you've also got the UK Vapor brand again. Just like normally, if you look over my shoulder, everything you do get in the box itself is just there. Shitting. Right then, let's go top to bottom on this mod. We'll start off with the uh, LO Pop. I think it's LO Pop. That's what I'm going to call it. LO Pop Tank. Um, at the top, you have got a resin drip tip. It is interchangeable, so if you've got your own, you can fit it in there. It is a top fill, so what you need to do is locate the actual arrow. Now, it's a little bit different than other ones. What you need to do is you need to lift it up, push it across, and that opens up your kidney well, and that is where you fill it. If we go just a little bit further down, uh, I've actually got the 2mm plastic tank on here. Obviously, we are EU and the UK. We can only have 2mm tanks. But there is an extender tank to it. And if you're out of the UK, you will get this. It's a 6.5mm. Uh, it looks a little bit like this. This is the iStick rim. Don't worry about the name. But the review's coming up for this tomorrow. Or if you're in the future, check it out in the playlist. It's got this like rubber... Um, tank protector that goes around the sides of it but that gives you the 6.5 mil extender but i haven't got that now the coils i'm going to read this so i don't actually get them that get them wrong they have a multi-hole mesh which is already pre-installed that's 40 to 90 watts it is a 0.2 ohm coil and then the spare coil that you get is the net mesh and again that's a 0.2 ohm coil and also 40 to between 40 and 90 watts Let's move down a bit further. You have got your airflow. It is mirrored on either side, and it's got such a nice feel to this when it moves. It's nice and smooth, and it does lock off either side. If you have a little look at the bottom of the tank, it does tell you that it's the ELO pop, and you've got your kite marks that don't vape in a bin. Your 510 is not protruding very much on there at all. It is very minimal. Right then, the mod itself. Some people are going to be a bit OCD about this. Obviously, one side of the panelling is enamel and the other side has got like a resin feel to it. So if you have a little look at the top, you've got a spring-loaded 510. The biggest that you're going to fit on there is about a 25 to 26 mil on there. If you look at the bottom, we've got two bits of battery vent in there. You've also got don't vape in a bin and your kite mark. Let's have a little look at the enamel side of it. It does tell you that it is the Mix iStick. And then you've got like the tortoise sort of shell, which is the um, enamel side. I actually quite like it. I don't mind it. I'm not, I'm not OCD. I don't, I don't mind it at all. If you have a little look down at the bottom, you have got your charging port. Now, it is fast charging and it is the C-type charging. So a lot of mobile phones are coming out with that now. But the good thing about it is, is that actually um, eLeaf have put an adapter in it. So you've got your uh, C-type um, actual connector, but you've also got your normal USB as well, which I think that's a corking idea. So it just fits on top and pulls off. Brilliant idea. Fast charging, takes roughly around about um, an hour and a half to charge, and it's saying that it is balanced charging. Let's move it across to the other side. This is where you've actually got your um, resin um, back. I, I do love, I like this. I wish it was both sides got an absolute wonderful feel to it at the top it does say e-leaf and then you've obviously got your resin on there and this is your battery door so if you little, have a little look at the bottom you have got a lip it there so that what you do is just open that up and there we go and that opens up now you've got two big magnets one at the top one at the bottom that marries onto obviously your battery door and they are really good magnets you've got your plus your minus your minus your plus now this has got a real good clicky feel to it and it doesn't move it's not janky really really good and there's no movement in that at all 
Now, if you have a little look on, on, on this side, it's just metal on there. If you go to the other side, this is where all the goodness happens. You have got your fire button there, nice and clicky. You've got your screen, and then you've got your plus and your minus, or your minus and your plus, or your up and down, whichever you want to call it. Now, to get it on, it is five clicks on, five clicks off. If you have a little look on the screen, you have got your, um, this is on uh, variable wattage. You can also have that on uh, for your temperature control. You have got your ohms, your voltage, and also on this one, it's got your puff um, counter. But you can change that. I'll show you in the menus how you can change it. You can change it to time and your amps. And then if you have a little cross, that is where your battery meter is as well. Right then, as you've got your plus and your minus button, if you hold them together, that will bring on the lock screen, so it'll say key locked. And then if you hold it again, it should come out and then it'll go unlocked. So that is how to lock your actual keys. Now to get into your first menu, what you need to do is you've got your um, plus button or the first button and your fire button. Hold them together and it will take you into the menu. Now the first menu is your, they call it, I think it's Sapra or Supra or something like that. And this is where you can change, like I was saying about your amps or your puff counter. If we just press that, it'll go into it. So you've got your puff, your time or your amp, whichever you select will come on the bottom of that menu. Um, the next one is your stealth mode. You have then got your preheat. You have then got the logo, whether you want it on or not. You've got your version. And you have also got your battery. And then if you press it again, that takes you out to the next menu. Now, to get into the other menu, it is three clicks. One, two, three. You have got your variable uh, wattage. And then you go into your temperature control. So you've got your nickel. You've got your titanium. Your stainless steel. Then you've got your memory one, memory two, memory three. And then you are back to variable wattage. And that is the menu itself. That is so simple. And I do like the so simple menus. So I'll tell you what, let's do the pros and cons and the bits that we've missed. So the pros and cons and the bits that we've missed. I always miss something out. It's a dual 18650 mod. Let's do the pros and cons. Let's go for the tank first. I haven't actually got any cons for this tank. I really am loving this tank. Love the drip tip. It's a top fill, very simple to fill. It's got a brilliant child proof mechanism in it. You just pull it up and push it across. Again, it saves it in your pocket. You know, sometimes you do have them where they come across and you're getting a, a leaky pocket, should we say. No problem with this at all. It is a 2 mil tank, obviously, because we're TPD compliant. I do wish we had the uh, the 6.5 mil, but obviously with the EU you can't. But you can get that. It is a little bit of a thirsty thing. Uh, it's got two different types of coils in there. You've got the multi-hole <laughs> coil. Uh, which is 40 to 90 watts, and it's also a 0.2 ohm coil. You've also got the net mesh coil as well. Again, that's 40 to 90 watts and a 0.2 ohm coil as well. Loving the flavour off this, and the clouds are for days. Absolutely gorgeous. The flavour is on point, and the clouds are for days. I'm really enjoying this tank. I've got some of this um, Panther series from Dr. Vapes, and it's called the Pink Panther. This stuff is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And I've had it in this combo, absolutely brilliant. The airflow is nice and smooth. You can adjust it, and it does lock off either side, which is really, really good. Right, let's get on to the mod. The cons for the mod. It's not one personally for me. A lot of people are going to like that resin side. They're not really going to like the enamel side. To me, it doesn't really bother me. I Personally, yeah, I would have wished it were on both sides, but it doesn't bother me that much. But I know there's going to be a lot of people out there with the OCD. They're going to be like, no, I don't like that, that point. Fits lovely in the hand. Really does fit lovely in the hand. Um, the menu is so easy. You've, um, you've got your variable wattage. You've also got your temperature control on there. It is The menu is very, very simple, and it is a little bit dated. Um probably a couple of years old sort of menu on there. The screen's not huge and it can be a little bit dim when you're outside. But to navigate around the menu and actually the mod itself, it's not that bad at all. The chip's really good. It's hitting straight away as you can see. Now I did tell you it's all made about pixies and dragons and stuff like that. I will put something just above my shoulder there so you can see the different colours and what they're actually called. You've got the Hell Witch, you've got the Seabed Snake, you've got the, I'm reading this, the Glary Knight and you've got the one that I've got which is the Skyline Newman 
And you've also got a Windy Ninja. There we go. So it's sort of into... I'm not really bothered about gimmicks myself, but I suppose it's something that they're trying to sell it that way. All in all, what do I think about the actual combo together? I think it's absolutely spot on. I'm loving the tank. I, I love the mod itself. Again, the flavour from this tank's corking. You can fit um, a, a, a 25 to 26 Atty on it. Yeah, all in all, big thumbs up from little bro. Another big thing, thumbs up for UK Vapor Brands. Thank you very much for sending this out for review. All the details for them will be down in the descriptions. And also for eLeaf. Well, people, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you've liked the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share the subscribe buttons in the corner. Give it a little press to give it to that new magic number. And there's one last thing to say, people. Keep them juices flowing. <laughs>